Hey MechWarrior, welcome back to Opa Plays MechWarrior 5. We're in the Sarna system doing Kestrel Lancer's uh, DLC and we've already completed Sarna 1 so this will be mission 2. Oh, sorry, it says Sarna point 4. Completely misremembered. This is where we are. Oh, sorry. And feel free to pause that and read it and I'll scroll here shortly. And there you have it. And we'll take the money again, of course. Forty-four days and everything's still being worked on, so everything should be fine. And I think I'm going to take max tonnage, maybe. Looking at the uh, Warhammer as a possibility. This guy's got 445 and 48 alpha. Hmm. That's a toss up, isn't it? 2.9 for heat to 5. Yeah, this one's much cooler. And she has gold status on it. So we'll go. Unfortunately, you can't say no. I don't want to wait that long. They need our help, actually. One warship. There are no warships anymore at all in the inner sphere. Plans still have them, but do not use them. Roger. I don't know where the heck they think they were going. This is exactly what I mean when I say that the, the follow AI is changed after DLC 6. They went around that crater instead of coming in with me. Let's trip this one off. Got some old names and old voices coming up. And they got lost again. For now, 
We're hoping to help each other out of this mess. <sighs> That's highly optimistic of you. We dug into this position to defend <clears throat> ourselves from an incoming advance from the 3rd McCarran's Armored Cavalry. They've been probing our defenses for the past week after we repelled an all-out assault from them at Graves Hollow. If you want to help, join us, and let's push these bastards back. Keep us in good enough shape, and we might just live to see tomorrow. Colonel Westrick, enemy scouts has crossed the outer perimeter. They're here. Well, okay then. Let's get to work. Rihanna, Commander, will appreciate the assist here. Keep our mercs in fighting shape. We won't be any good to you dead. Aye, sir. Get my cursors lined up. Light mechs are always the hardest in slow assault mechs. I see ECM and my number two has it. Shut it down. Switch her to counter. I am shooting between his legs and dodging. Hard to dodge when you're in the air, though. How do you see him again? Next. Firing from position. Next. Still got eight more. Must be some still out there. Almost put we'll one off the side. Let's 
funny, my Lancers all faster than me, yet they can't keep up. <clears throat> All right, boyos, let's go get them. Commander, if we're going to survive this, we need every mech we can get. Do your best to protect my men. I need some real ECM. That's what I need. Back in. Uh, I've been stuck here before. The easiest way to get out of that is jump. Let the AI take them out. Stay strong. We've almost got them. Which mech am I in? Okay. Yep, like I said, easiest way to get out is jump. And don't get back into it again. Stop moving. Gee whiz. The whole time I'm telling it to stand, you know, stand still and it's backing into a hole. Because my fingers run the wrong keys, obviously. I don't know where that ECM's coming from, because not VTOLs. And the VTOLs don't count against how many you gotta kill, by the way. Easy way to get us to get outside. As soon, as, as soon as I pull the box up, they get it. Yeah, see, that didn't count. We were at 19 before that VTOL. Let's get outside. <clears throat> More VTOLs. I think the last dropship drops here, but... It'd be great if it would go ahead and do so. They're still killing one. That's what happened. See the flaw in the primary? Westrick doesn't have a squad, he has a lance.
Ooh, he's torn up too. I'm not sure what's going on, folks. There's four more coming in. And, uh, I was pretty sure they came from this end. The end. But there's still a VTOL out there. Brand new, you know, nice and shiny when we first started off. They're doing a standard, wonderful job of negotiating the maze here. Yeah, they're still uh, mixed down here. They're fighting. Feel bad for that. And back into the ECM. Only one left. Something just blew up. Just hovering. Hoping for leakage. There's the last guy. ECM field is preventing us from contacting anyone at the system's jump point. We have a long shot plan to try to get a message off world. With your help, we might just be able to do it. Come by our command center and I'll share the details with you. Let's see if I can get up higher for you. Closes out. Nope. <coughs> Fades away instead. <coughs> well, I screwed up the ending of that, but it got happy at the ending. 21 picks. Powered sensors. 15 picks. Indicator. And there's this, the fix for my troubles there. Of course, that would include getting them installed. And we get a pilot. That's two we've picked up during this. That'll probably be a wall coming along. The monsters are rare. In this mission, we'll be knocking out ECMs that are jamming our signal. It's a uh, fast raid-like mission. Um, 320 ton. Only takes one day to do it, though. It's a fast raid. But the last mission has zero days to repair so whatever you take on this one you're not taking on the last one 50 days to start this one so ample repair time get everything in tip-top shape 
Next mission is 330 or 340 tons. It's a slugfest. Downtown. The Crater Cobras have provided us with the location of a series of powerful ECM arrays that have been disrupting long-range comms across the entire Sorna system. If we destroy enough arrays within the region, we should be able to pierce the localized disruption field and get a message out to the system's jump point. We need to destroy these ECM arrays in order to have any hope of getting a message off-world. If we don't succeed, well, we'll almost likely die here, Commander. Ah, oh, lovely. No pressure at all for the likes of us, eh? I know it's hard to hear, but it's the simple truth. While we've had our successes, McCarran's armored cavalry still has four full regiments of troops on Sarna. It's a simple numbers game. The reality is, we don't have enough forces to come out ahead. Even with the Crater Cobras and Screaming Eagles, we need reinforcements. And with the system's HPG down, the only way that we can ever hope of getting them is if we get a message back to Davion Command through a ferried message by jump ship. Bringing down these ECM arrays is our only chance of doing that. I'm not exaggerating when I say that this time, all our lives are depending on this. So good luck, Commander. Not a problem. Not quite sure why my armor is showing, ha having not been repaired. Nor has Beast, apparently. Or Wicked. We've all taken hits already and nothing's hit us. Put that down. Where's my Getting back to base. That ECM we all love to hate. Disruption is weakening, but McCarran is encircling our forces while you're attacking the ECM installations. We don't have the numbers to fight through them. We need those towers destroyed so we can find a gap in their lines. We fought too long and too hard for this to be our end. Just finish up instead. It's okay. It's the part of the job that all of us mercenaries must accept at some point. Today, it's just my time.
Good as time as any is shut down. We still got the long walks left. Yeah, I must not have repaired all. I thought it did. Before I so glibly said, let's spend 50 days telling you guys to make sure you get everything repaired best you can. That's the comedy hour. It's okay, he'll follow us, we'll get him eventually. Got enough VTOLs out there? Guess I gotta walk in there and stomp on him. to come down and go around this way. This time I decided to go around this way. End result's about the same. You wind up with the, the last one being about a kilometer away. Now we're going to have to walk from here all the way across back where we started. I think that's a bad use of a gamer's time. Just in invented orbital mech drops. <laughs> we don't have much left, but we are moving to assist. ETA, two hours. Looks like our salvation is here, Commander. I've marked a new exfil site on your map. Let's get out of here and join the others. How about mark a closer exfil site? Like where I'm standing. What the heck was that? Sure how that got left behind. Nobody likes artillery. Yeah, except commanding officers, I guess. on the offense and the defense if they got a lot of it. Well, I'm right at 30 minutes and the last episode is a long one. So this is going to be it for this episode. 
Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and uh, definitely come back for the last episode. The next episode, I should say. Hope it's out. Eventually. Let me finish this part. Got nothing. 22 there and 2 there. How do we do? Not too shabby. And this was two missions in a row without repair, due to my fault. Nobody's got a negative. We go on. Now all the pilots will be tired. I'm going to wait and push that. Hope is out, folks. See you next time.